Hey y'all, how you doing today? So I'm sitting here and um, y'all know I'm a mixed media artist. I have been for years. I love it. I make everything from simplistic mixed media art to like, can you put any more layers on that baby art, mixed media art. So I was um, waiting for my video, my last video to upload where I did the tree and um, the swirly tree. And so I started to go through some of my sub, my subscriptions that I'm sub to. And um, one of the ones I usually watch um, is Angie, Angie's art channel, Angie's, um, fuck, Angie's art channel or it's Angie's Lupus. I, I can't recall the name of it. Um, I'll have to put it down in the, um, God, I hate when I lose track of what I was saying in, in the description. Anyway, so she was talking about mixed media and whatnot like that. And she had done, as you guys have known, you guys know, she had done the butterfly, um, uh, girl and she like mixed media it out and she really rocked it out and I love it. And I advise you to go over and watch her last video on it. I've, I've put her links to all the videos on there, um, on previous videos of mine. And she just does like, like, a, it's like three minutes of where she shows what she did and everything. And she really rocked it and did a great job. So she was talking about mixed media and everything like that. So I thought, and several people have been asking me this, as well as, as the 60 people I've counted who have messaged me to do a clay video. <laughs> and I'm going to do it, I promise. I'm going to have my husband hook up on a pasta machine next to me, and I'm going to do a clay video. I'm going to do, I decided I'm going to do a clay video of, um, well, as of right now, that could change because, you know, I, I can change from here walking into the bathroom and take a pee. Um, I wanted to make a clay video where since the Christmas holidays are coming and kids have off, that maybe it's something that you can do with your kids. Make like a nice, cute little something or another. Um, you know, and I can, you know, I showed you my snowmen before. Um, I can, you know, so there's a few things I'm going to do as far as the clay comes. So that is coming, I promise. So I was sitting here watching Angie's video and I thought, and then, um, somebody else had mentioned on Facebook how they wanted to start the, uh, you know, mixed media and really get into it. And also I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step and we're going to go bowls to the wall. So that's what I'm starting with today. And, um, this was inspired by, is that the word I want to use? encouraged by, well, it can't be encouraged by because she doesn't know I'm doing it yet, but, um, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to do it. And then if Angie or anybody else wants to do along with me, um, we'll do it and I'm going to talk through it and I'll try not to make long videos like the last video I made and, um, do step by step and really rock this out. So let's begin, shall we? Now you can use a canvas, which I'm going to use just a piece of watercolor paper or mixed media paper. If you don't have that, use whatever kind of paper you have. Um, or I like to use, um, you can use a, a um, regular canvas, you know what I mean? Uh, but I like to use board canvases. Um, but I, ha I use all kinds of canvases. Um, but for this, I'm going to use the paper. Um, and then you can always um, do one of two things. You can measure it or buy a pad that you can buy a frame for, make your own frame, or not frame it at all and just hang it as it is. So there's no big deal. Um, sometimes when I do when I do paper, because we do do layer on layer on layer, I will just get one of those um, hangers that you glue on the back of like things, you know, those little metal hanger things, and just glue it on the back and then hang it on the wall. Um, you, can, you can do whatever you want, but here's where we're going to start. If you can see over here, I don't know how well you can see, I have a basket. And in this basket is tissue papers and papers I bought on clearance and um, to where I keep all my like little scrappy scraps and stuff and um, some drawings that I've done, some... You want book pages, if you save books that, you know, like I said, go to the um, library or to the dollar store, pick up whatever book they have for a dollar, um, resin pieces. But I have all these papers that are just pieces that I've saved from different things. So what we're going to do first is, now you can use, um, let me take it back to the paper where we're going to work. 
You can use um, newspaper, you can use book text, you can use um, tissue paper, you can use used, um, let's see if I can get this up without everything falling everywhere because in Kelly's world everything, everything falls everywhere. You can use your, which you guys know I use, and I'm going to use this in this, um, paper towels that I've used to sop up paint and wipe up paint. These are great. They're colorful. They work. They add texture. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So right now I'm going to rip this baby in half. Now I want to decide, do I want it as a big piece or do I want it as several pieces? So I'm going to take a piece about this size. And I'm going to rip it kind of like cockeyed, cockeyed. And the only, I only have my glossy clodge podge here right now that I'm going to use. Cause I really need to go buy me some regular Mod Podge. And I, I need to actually get up on my higher shelf to get my regular, um, what's it called? Gel medium, but you know, you can use Elmer's glue with a little water in it. You know, white school glue, not necessarily Elmer's. You can get white school glue anywhere, dollar store, whatever. Mix it with a little bit of water. And what we're going to do first is our first layer is we are going to stick down all kinds of fun things. And we're going to cover the whole page. We're going, like I said, we're going all out. I love doing these. I used to like I had mentioned before, I used to do commission, so many commissions, people would commission me to do stuff, to do mixed media paintings and stuff, and then add their animals or, um, different angels or stuff like that, that I would do. And, um, I love doing it. And like, I, I would do it like this, like I would go all out. So I figured let's go Ange. And like I said, if y'all have just a piece of construction paper or your printer paper or whatever you have. This happens to be, you know what this is? I can tell now because I must have ripped it off for something and not used it. Um, this is a piece of canvas paper. I can tell by the texture because I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's not... It was just sitting over there. I was going to use it for something. I guess I didn't. And if you get your dog hair in it, just kind of scooch it around. Try to glue down the best you can. That's why I like using um, like white school glue and all. Because collage podge and mod podge. I don't know. They seem to dry, especially the glossy dry so fast. And you don't care if there's wrinkles or anything in it. It just adds texture. And we're just doing layer one. And there we go. So now I'm going to go back in my basket of things. And I have this piece. Oh, I don't know where it came from. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Throw it back in my basket for my next piece. And I'll just lay it over here. And if I could edit, I would now begin the fast edit of, you don't need to watch me glue everything down. I can't edit, nor do I. I mean, I'm sure if I sat and thought about it and tried to do it, I would. I'm going to put some glue right here and throw down origami paper that you can buy at the store. Awesome. Let's take a tear of that little baby. Stick it there. Glue it down. I love buying the sheets of work. I think they're like a dollar ninety nine. You get tons of them, and in different things, I buy them all the time. I have some of the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. However, you can go into the tissue paper section at your dollar store or at your party store and um, get great music, which I have ton. I have some over there. I'm gonna make this a little smaller for here, and you can just buy music. Tissue paper. You don't have to go spend. I think somebody sent this to me, and, and, uh, actually, um, and that's why I, I got it because I would go buy, which I did, the musical one. Um, tissue paper. They have so so many neat um, tissue papers, especially at like the party store and the dollar store and stuff like that. Or you could just use regular tissue paper. Who cares? The colors. I love them. I use them all the time. So we're just 
having a blast. We're just following, listening to me ramble about the Lord only knows what. All right, step off, brother. Then I got another piece. I'll probably put him two places. I'm drawn to dark colors. I don't know why. Am I a dark person? Maybe. But I'll just stick him down. Just throw some glue on top. Now, if you don't want to add paper over everything, over your whole, um, you don't have to because we're going to put paint on next. So maybe I won't put paper everywhere. We'll see where we get to. Tear a little piece of this off. Like I said, they can be scrappy scraps. If you see a paint like glue like coming out like where you over glue, you know, just stick little pieces there. Who cares? Who cares? Let's see what else we got. How about some bugs? We'll do squeeze. A brush is still dirty. I changed my water. Hmm. It's time to really clean them. I have a brush cleaner my husband bought me. It's mechanical, like you stick your brush in and it really cleans it well. It's just that I have to find a place for it on the desk. I love these. These came at Halloween time and like Martha Stewart. So I bought like a ton of them when they were on clearance. I waited for them to go on clearance. And um, there's all kinds of cool things. God, I gotta get my gel medium. And then just stick it on. Stick it on. We're sticking it on. We're gonna make a stick, 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 stick it on. And we're sticking it on. Okay. And yeah, you can you can sing and dance while you do it. This is a bigger piece of paper than I anticipated, but however. I don't care. Now I have this piece of like mulberry paper with like little glitters. I'm talking, it don't matter what you have. Use toilet paper. Put some food coloring on some toilet paper. Because that's basically what that is. Well, I mean, it's not, I, I wouldn't wipe my bum with it. But, um, you know, it's like that thin kind of thing. Use some, um, just put like a drop or two in a, a little bit of water of food coloring. And then dip your like paper towel or your... Um, Toilet paper in there, double ply, obviously, and then pull it out, and then you have these really cool shades of things. All right, pull this stuff out. Sometimes I make more of a mess for myself than, than I should. I have, I don't know where that came from, but it came somewhere from somewhere, so we'll just stick that right here. Again, does not matter. Pull out a mag, go through your magazines and pull out like just pictures of whatever. Somebody's lips, eyes, old sewing patterns. Got all the old sewing patterns in there. Now here's another piece of that mulberry paper. I don't know, can you see it? It's like, I'm not gonna use it, but it's very shiny. Don't exactly know what that is, but I got a piece of um, gold paper from something. I think we'll do it up here. Now I'm what I'm going to do, and maybe you want to think. I'm just going to smear the glue on here, and I just put a couple of pieces of things up here. I'm going to do a face on here. I'm going to draw like kind of like my goddess face that I do, that I do, I've done. Um, when I'm done, probably. So think about if you want to do a face or something else. It can, you can build a face out of a magazine like Caroline Albert, Albert did. Um, you know, where she like cut out like different eyes and stuff like that, which was really cool. And um, or you can draw with me or you can do as you, you know, you want to do. If you have some ribbon. We're going to be using that later. A little snippets of ribbon. Who doesn't love ribbon? 
I'm going to have to really dig down. I have napkins and let's use a white piece of the mulberry paper. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. Rip it a little bit and put it up here where that glue is. And if it hangs over the edge, I'll cut off hanging edges when I'm done, but I know I have glue there. And can you see here the texture that that piece took on when I put it on the napkin? How cool that looks. So cool. Looks like I need a little bit more. The bug's leg has went rogue. Stick it down. Okay. Really stick it down. Stay. And then maybe we'll put some white here because that's going to pick up a lot of our paint. I'm going to stick glue all in here because I need to stick things down here. Just do that. And then a piece of blue. Again, if you only have papers from books that you want to rip out pages, do the whole background. That. I didn't grab my book. Hmm. I have some leopard. I have some paper that somebody made me. So I will tear it a thin piece and put some glue over here. And then glue that down. Again, any pieces cut off at the end, we cut when we're all finny. Finny something. Oh, that's a nice piece of paper. I might have to do a little giveaway of some of these papers. I'm not going to use that piece. There's a pretty piece of that. Mm. And then I think I'm not going to do everywhere. I'm just going to tear some of this. We'll put it here. I think I'm going to put some here. It's okay if your tissue paper wrinkles, gives it texture. We love texture. I'll take a piece of green over here. Come on. Will it be long enough? sideways, push it down, maybe some of it here to take the rest of that little piece. You want to squish it up, squish it out. Squish it, squish it good. That's pretty. Like I said, get in your books, get in your tissue paper. I got this. I don't know what, what that's from, but I think I'm going to put it right there. I'll just run it down. Put it on there. It's wrinkling. Do I care? Remember? Nope, I don't. This is the best part because it's like there's no, you don't have to think. You just do. You see what I'm saying to you? And that has two meanings, by the way. You just do, meaning you just do it. Or, now see, I found this piece. It's a little sparkly angle. I mean, not in the sparkly when I'm done. But I'm going to put it right here. So, Ange, I hope you do this with me, baby. I hope everybody does this with me. Because we're going all out, super mixed media, stamps and sprays and fun. God damn it, that little cockroach leg won't stick. It's being a... You fill in the words. Okay, I think our, I think we're pretty good. I can continue going on, but I don't want to bore you. Let me just see if I have... <laughs> if you have tags, look how fancy that tag is. You can tag it. You can put the tag on there. You have napkins, glue them on. 
This is an original sketch I did in my car one day when I was bored that I did my uh, one uh, painting thing off of. I always sit in the car and draw. I found me some book text. Some book text. Here we go. Charles Dixon, Dickens works. <laughs> Charles Dick works. I don't know. Charles Dickens works. Okay, so because I'm a little up right in my space. I, I do want to put it right down there so y'all can see. So I'm just going to tear a little bit. And because it's so old, it's tearing itself. My God. My goodness gracious. Let's put a little bit of glue there. Glue. And then we'll glue on. Like I said, those tape will tear all those extra pieces off at the end. Now remember here, I don't, you can't really see it on there, but that is a white piece, and that'll look cool once the um, we paint it and the color sucks in on there. It'll give it texture. Let's see if I have anything else like I want to stick up on the top. This is my bucket o stuff of all like little pieces and things that. Oh, nice little. This is a, it's like not see through red. So maybe we'll put that. I need something up here a little bit more. Red will be fine right there, even though we already have another red. And we'll just put it on like that. And how about another piece of text right here? Now, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see that. You just see it's a mishmash posh podge thing. So whatever you have around your house, whatever you have that you, um, here's a piece of a napkin that apparently I used at some other point in life. Not to wipe my mouth though, for art apparently. And I will tear a piece off. And these are double, but you can do, um, you know, one ply, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. A little bit of glue right there. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll just kind of lay it. And a little wrinkle as you glue it down, and we don't care. We want that texture. God, these legs will not stay down. Stay down. Okay, so close my glue because I'll knock it everywhere. Put my stuff back in for now. And we just did our first layer of our, I'm going to throw my napkin in there because I ripped that up and that will be used. I can just pull my basket. So once you get this done, and again, like I said, you can crumble up. Every, we're getting packages in the mail and everything for Christmas and whatnot. I save all the brown paper, all the wrapping paper, all the everything, crumble it up, use it, you get texture. We're going to do that on another layer. But no worries. I'm just kind of putting my stuff back in here. One second, please, because if I don't get this and move it, it will be everywhere. Okay, let me try to wobble over here. Ooh, 
think I'm okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, good God. I hate not feeling good. I sure hate it. Okay, so here we go so far. All we've done is taken whatever you have around your house, and you have uh, all your gluten-free packaging and foil and all those kind of things, um, pieces of magazines. You can use uh, anything in magazines, whether you use the text or pictures. You can use whatever you have around the house. Glue it down, everybody, um, on whatever whatever you're using, a piece of printer paper, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, drawing paper, whatever you have. And this is our first step and we glued it down and now we're going to let it uh, sit overnight and dry. And then we'll be on to our next step, which will be adding paint. So think about it. It doesn't, the paint that you choose has nothing to do with these. These colors do not have to match. They don't have to, whatever you glue down has to have nothing to do with anything. So it's just little bits of paper that we save. Um, like I said, it could be paper towel. And if you don't have anything, take a paper towel, take some paint, watercolor uh, paint, acrylic paint, whatever kind of paint you have, um, or stamp ink or whatever, and just stamp it and wipe it all, you know, your brushes and, and do all that and make it all kinds of different colors and then rip it and then just glue it on. Because look how cool it comes out. So, you know what I mean? You don't have to have all these little scraps like this. So I hope that you guys will do this with me. This is step one. And we're going to like really bling it out and do some, some, uh, we'll use a lot of stuff that we have at home. I'm not going to say, oh, you must go out and buy. But uh, we're going to bling it out. And then I'll give you options on what you can use. And then we'll do, you know, decide what we're going to put on at the end, once we bling like five more layers on here and uh, have a blast doing it. And then you'll have like the ultimate mixed media piece. So you'll have step by step and then you can do as much or as little on your next one that you want. So I hope you guys join me doing this. Um, I have an art journal page coming up, I'm gonna be doing, and um, which I'm gonna be incorporating washi tape in. The washi tape, a lot of people have been making it so I'm going to be including that in. You don't have to use it if you don't have it. But a lot of people have been um, making it, and then they say, okay, I made it. Now what? <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll include it in this week's art journal, which I think is so funny. Y'all just make me feel so great and wonderful and um, useful. So um, here we are. And if you get packages and you have tape on it and whatever, use it. You know, you can stamp on that, right on it with a black magic marker and make designs and glue it on. You could do whatever. Any questions, all y'all got to do is leave it down in the comments below or message me on Facebook or message me on YouTube. Um, I'm everywhere. Knitting and things at netzero.com is my email address. Um, I know I haven't gotten back to um, a few of you. I'm trying to get through all of them. I do have quite a bit of uh, mail to write back and get through, um, but I'm going to. It's just taking me a little longer than I anticipated. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of this. And this is what we're going to do. So hope you guys have a great day. Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And um, it's important. It's important we all support each other. So I hope you all do this with me. And we're going to go step by step by step. Have a great day, guys. Bye.